Hey everybody, this is Eno and welcome to the Dynamic Prepper. Well, it is time for Shooter's Loot for November 2016. Uh, I'm really excited to get into this month's Shooter's Loot. We debuted it last month on the channel and uh, ever since we got their very first box last month, really been looking forward to seeing what Shooter's Loot's going to do for us for month number two uh, for November 2016. If you are unfamiliar, uh, just head on out to ShootersLoot.com. I'll put a link down in the description and what they are is a monthly subscription service box for shooting enthusiasts by shooting enthusiasts. They have a couple of different subscription levels out there you can check out. And this one is the Shooter's Loot, which goes for about 50 bucks. And of course, don't forget, if you use your promo code Dynamic Prepper, you will get 10% off your first month subscription when you sign up for uh, Shooter's Loot. So without further ado, let's get into Shooter's Loot for November 2016. You know, if you are into the sport and adventures of shooting, this is just a fun box. All right. I'm excited. All right, Shooter's Loot. Let's get into this. Oh, sweet. We got a hat. Magpole. That is nice. Just in time for the winter weather. Cool. Look at that. This is the Magpole Logo Text Skull Beanie. That is nice. Let's see how it fits. Take this icky beanie off there. Try this one out. Oh, yeah. It actually fits pretty good. Perfect time of year for a new beanie. And of course, you get to show off your love of shooting. So that's really cool. I like that. What do we got here? Next we have a flashlight. We have the Phoenix HL23. We have a nice little headlamp. Let's go ahead and open that up, shall we? We shall. Get a knife out here. We can open this up. I love headlamps. They are absolutely one of the most useful flashlights to have around. Great for the car, bug out bag, hiking, camping, fishing, everything. They just are always coming in handy. So what do we got here? We got our headlamp. Nice. We got a battery. We got an extra O-ring. And we have some instructions and whatnot. So let's go ahead and stick a battery in there. Fire this sucker up. Woo! That is bright. 150 lumen this guy is. Let's see if I can see this. 150 lumen on high, 3 lumen on low. Has a 1 hour run time on high, 110 hour on low, 55 meter distance, impact resistant up to 1 meter, waterproof up to 2 meters. So... That's our high, that's our low, you can kind of barely see that. That's only three lumens, so that's really dim. But definitely not going to blow out your night vision and stuff like that. Got a high, medium, low. Cycling through all those, that's pretty neat. I like that. Can never argue with a, uh, with a nice headlamp, that's for sure. And this actually looks like a really nice, decent quality one. The Phoenix... HL23, all aluminum construction, nice and adjustable, rubberized button, has an orange peel reflector, you can see that in there, that just helps soften the beam a little bit, in my opinion makes it a little bit more useful, so there you go. Uh, that we'll put over there with our hat, let me get rid of some garbage. Sweet, we got a pair of Mechanis gloves. All right, I love Mechanis gloves, I really do. That is awesome, I love me a pair of Mechanis gloves in the appropriate size. Uh, they do take your information as far as you know, glove size, t-shirt size, all that stuff when you subscribe. So whenever they do include things like hats and gloves and t-shirts and stuff like that, you're always going to get the right size because you tell them what you need, right? That's pretty cool. I like these. I got black ones, and I think I have green ones too. Don't have the, the tan though. Um, let me see here. Grandes. Coyote, I was going to say. Do they really call it tan? No, it's coyote. I just... 
Pretty sweet. Love me some mechanics gloves. Can never have enough of these. I got them laying around everywhere. Again, great thing to stick in the bug out bag, have in the car, um, stick in the uh, in the range bag, stuff like that. Always nice to have a good set of mechanics gloves laying around. So that's the next thing we got. Let's see, last but not least, we got a little love from Kershaw. I do really love Kershaw knives and always glad to get one. Let's see what we got. This is the uh, cathode, by the way. Little guy. Look at that. The cathode. Little assisted knife, flipper, tanto blade. Has that, uh, what do they call it? Stone washed kind of look to it, which I actually think Kershaw probably does the best job of that of most of the companies I see, kind of that weathered look. Um, some of them just kind of look fake and weird. But uh, Kershaw's uh, finish actually looks pretty nice. It does look weathered and it just has a kind of a cool utilitarian look to it. Nice grip, that's a frame lock. Stainless steel blade. Yeah, you can't argue with a Kershaw. Of course, they are always wicked sharp. Love a Tanto blade too. Nice little utilitarian pocket knife there. Great little EDC blade. Can do uh, left or right tip up. No problem. Liking it. So, yeah, can't argue with that. Like that too. So that looks like everything for November Shooter's Loot. We'll put that aside and let's review Really quick, we got the Magpole hat, beanie, uh, the Phoenix HL23 headlamp, a pair of Coyote Tan um, mechanics gloves, and our little uh, Kershaw cathode right there. There you go. That's everything that comes in Shooter's Loot for November 2016. It's all great stuff. I love this hat. Putting that to good use. We're supposed to get our first snowfall tomorrow. So... I am uh, definitely in need of a new hat. Thanks a lot. Take it easy, guys.